Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a stationery haul video for you um, because yesterday I went stationery shopping and I didn't show you what I got. Um, so I've got a whole bag of stuff here. Um, this is the Daiso bag I got yesterday. It was a Christmas theme. It's got a little cat on the front sleeping a little present. So I'm going to go through everything one by one. Um, but before we get started, I just wanted to say that the next person I'm going to be sending a Christmas present to this year is Carissa Turner from um, Adelaide. So if you recognise this envelope, then I'll be sending you um, a present this year. So yeah, all these presents should be sent off before um, the series comes out because I am pre-recording these in November. Um, so other like the Australian people and probably if there's a few New Zealand people they should definitely be getting their packages um, or little parcels or letters earlier but if you are overseas it might come around Christmas time but I will, would have sent these earlier so they should arrive around Christmas so let's jump right in I'll show you everything I got I'll go through it in detail and I'll also show you some close-ups okay so the first place I went to was Daiso and all of these things are quite flat because I was very wary that a lot of these are going to be sent internationally. <laughs> um, so everything's quite thin. So basically I majority got like stickers, letter sets um, and just like little memo, um, memo like pads. I don't know what you call them, little memo stickers, memo sheets, memo memos <laughs> um, and cards and the only thing I got that was quite bulky um, was a little gift that I knew I'd be sending to Australia so the first place I went to was Daiso and I got this adorable um, it's like a little polar bear set it's like this little polar bear and he's got a little cat so the cat's like climbing up his back and like under his little umbrella and he's like playing the ukulele so I thought that was very cute I really liked that and I really hope whoever I send this to really loves it as well I also got this little um, mini letter set, so it's an alpaca letter set, and I'm pretty sure the envelopes are actually that, um, I don't know how you pronounce it, vellum, 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 vellum paper, I don't know, it's just that see-through paper, so it's a little animal, animal party it says on the front there. Um, the next thing I got are these little sticker flakes, um, or flake stickers, sticker flakes, I don't know, flake stickers I think you pronounce them. Um, and they're all little bits of sushi. I really liked that and I remembered that I'm pretty sure someone in my pile of people that I'm sending gifts to actually likes um, Japanese themed stationery. So I wanted to grab a few things that were Japanese themed. So I thought that was really adorable and it's actually got little um, gold flakes throughout it. You can see that there's little gold bits on the stickers. Um, I couldn't go past this little guy because I thought he was adorable. You've got him sweeping, I think he's baking, reading books, um, and I don't know if it's an actual character out of like a TV show or something, but I just thought it was really adorable and I liked all the sets. So um, the next is just a little letter set, and this is an otter letter set. As you can see, I really like the animal sets in Daiso, um, and it's a full um, writing set, so it's got envelopes, the writing paper, and also little stickers you can put on it as well. Lastly, I just grabbed this because I didn't know if I was going to use this um, Christmas paper to decorate the package that I sent, or I might put a few bits of Christmas paper in each one, or I might just send this as one big thing, but it's quite heavy, so I might actually just send a few bits of Christmas paper to everyone, um, because I thought it'd be nice to add something Christmassy and that someone could use to like scrapbook or something. But I thought I'd grab that because... Um, it can be used for lots of different things. And then I also just got some washi tape because I also wanted to add some Christmas washi tape to each sample. But I also knew I'd be wrapping the presents um, with probably washi tape. So I wanted to get something a bit Christmassy too. So those are all the items I got from Daiso today. Um, or yesterday. But I think this cost about 20 bucks for all this. Everything in Daiso is $2.80, but if you're in Japan, um, everything's a dollar because it's a Japanese dollar store. Alrighty, where did I go next? I went to Kiki K next. Um, I did check um, the Giftorium, so the Maya Giftorium, because I did have a little Kiki K section in there. But I really wanted to go to the full store because they had sales on. So the sale was... Um, 
if you buy four items, you get one item for free. So I was very wary of this. And I was going to buy Paper Lovers books for people. But the Paper Lovers books are around $30 each. And um, I obviously, that's just way over the budget that I had for this shop. And I also knew that to send a Paper Lovers book overseas, it costs around $30 to send. So every single package would have been around $60 and I don't have that budget. <laughs> so I got things that again were quite thin and quite lightweight just because I knew I'd be sending these overseas. So the first thing I got was this sticker book. Um, I thought it's so adorable. I love the pastel colours and I absolutely love this, um, like this design. It's really, really pretty. Um, I'm not going to open this one up because I did show you a little sample of it in my, um, my stationary shopping video. Just because I want to keep it really nice when I send it. So I'm not going to open that one up today. The next thing I got was these little paper clips and I absolutely love these and I sort of had someone in mind that I knew who loved cats. I don't know if they like dogs so much but I thought they would really appreciate the cat ones. Um, so I definitely know who I was going to give this one to. And it's just so beautiful. These are really, really pretty so I hope they really appreciate it. And um, I think this costs like $12 so these aren't cheap so I had to really think about what I wanted but again they're really lightweight and I knew I had a budget so I wasn't too concerned that they were quite expensive for paper clips. Um, these sticker sets are in the sticker book so it actually comes with two sides which I, th which I thought were great. Um, it's mainly just cats and dogs little houses so anyone who said they like pets I thought I might send them um, a set and I got another set for free because it was four for three. Alrighty, so the next place I went to was Muji. Um, mainly I wanted to go to Muji because I was looking for these writing pads. These are the writing pads I usually write to my pen pals because they, um, they're really, really plain so you can design them however you want. And I like them because when I write in journals you have to rip them out of journals where these ones you just tear off at the top. And it's a real nice tear, so it's a real nice writing pad that you can design in any way you want. So, yeah, I got two of those. I did try to design this one, but the stamps didn't work. Um, but I'm probably going to keep these for myself because I've just run out of writing pads. That was a necessity for me. Um, but I got these two for someone else because I thought it'd be a nice, simple set to really design on. So, these two have the writing paper in it. And it's also got some envelopes, and I have tons of envelopes at home, so I didn't need these myself. But I thought that'd be a nice little writing set to send someone. And these were a dollar fifty each. I think these were like two dollars each or something. They were pretty cheap. I think I got like all this for like ten bucks. So Muji's really good for cheap stationery, especially ones if you want to design a lot on, because they're really plain and simple stationery. Um, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, I ran into JB Hi-Fi because I had some vouchers. I got myself some um, Fuji Instax minis. Don't know if you needed to know that. <laughs> Just thought I'd chuck that in because they're laying on my bed. Um, next, I went to Typo and I got some Harry Potter themed Christmas things because as I mentioned yesterday, I had someone in mind who sent me a beautiful package and I wanted to send them something back Harry Potter. So I got this beautiful um, Gryffindor Christmas stocking, which I'm going to get some for myself. But they were out of stock, this was literally the last one. Thought that was really, really pretty. Loved it. And also Christmas ornaments. They had ornaments for every house. Like you could get one for like Gryffindor. Like you could get one for every house out of the Harry Potter series. But I just got the Hogwarts one because I wasn't 100% sure um, who she went for. I don't know if she had a preference in houses, so I just got the basic Hogwarts one, and I got two, because I think I want to keep this one for myself, but I don't even have a Christmas tree yet, so um, I'll have to decide, because if I do do a Harry Potter themed Christmas tree, I think I want to do some paper crafts that match a Harry Potter themed Christmas tree, but I'm not that obsessed with Harry Potter, so... If I find another person who really loves Harry Potter, I'll read back through the pen pal letters. I might give it to someone else, but I might also keep it for myself. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> and lastly, I just got this little llama um, 
letters, like cards, I don't know why I call it a letter, um, these little llama cards, it just says peace and llama love this Christmas. I just thought it was a really cute Christmas card, they were $2 each and I had a little bit of budget left over, so I thought I might get two little Christmas cards with some llamas on it because I thought they were adorable. So yeah, that's it for today. That's everything I got um, yesterday when I went stationery shopping. So basically, I was just mainly looking for lightweight, thin things that I could send overseas, but things that were really, really nice and different and unique. I didn't want to go and get things that you could find at the bigger outlet stores. So things like um, adorable things like this is something that people wouldn't usually buy for themselves because it is a little bit expensive. Um, and just cute things that I thought that I would personally like, so I thought other people would like them too. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, um, and I'll be sending your letter off on Monday, um, Carissa, and yeah, I'll announce another winner tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bye!